Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we're going to look at Love 6 from Logic 1, and this is the Java solution. The problem states that the number 6 is a truly great number. Given two int values a and b, return true if either one is 6, or if their sum or difference is 6. And it gives a little note here about the math absolute value function, which is a useful one, and I'll show you in a second why that is. So we look at this example, Love 6, 6, 4, returns true because we have 6. 4, 5 is false because neither is a 6, the sum isn't 6, and the difference isn't 6. And love 6, 1, 5 returns true because 1 plus 5 is 6. All right, so, you know, this is just a, a couple of statements, really, and it's checking if you understand some how to perform mathematical operations. So we can start off by saying if A is equivalent to 6 or B is equivalent to 6, we're going to return true. Now, I'm just going to forego the braces because of a single line. And I'm going to put a return false at the very bottom, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each of the possible cases, and then only if I make it through all of them, then I know that I return false. So then I'm going to say if a plus b is equivalent to 6, we return true. And then finally, if a minus b is equivalent to 6, we return true. And if b minus a is equivalent to 6, we return true. Now we're going to tighten this up a little bit, but if I hit go, this should work. And there it goes. No problems. All right. So, you know, the one part that causes sometimes a little bit of confusion is right here, this a minus b and b minus a. And the reason why the problem here is, notice if I take the second one out and I hit go, it fails in this case because a minus b, 1 minus 7, is actually negative 6, not positive 6. And this is where that absolute value comes in useful, because it's supposed to write it two times. I can say math.abs. So I'm going to take a minus b and then run the absolute value of that. And by doing that, it just takes whatever the difference is and makes it positive. Again, at this stage when I work with students, I want them to understand that the abs function is contained within the math class, and it is a static function. Now, of course, we can always one-line this. Um, because notice this is evaluating to true, it returns true, it values to true, returns true, it values true, returns true. So what I can do is I can actually take each of these and put them into one long statement. So I can say if, there's our first one, if a is equivalent to 6 or b is equivalent to 6, or a plus b is equivalent to 6, uh, or the last one's equivalent to 6, I can return true. Oh, looks like I lost a brace somewhere along the way. Let's see if I can find that. Oh, the problem is I put all of this in braces because it's an if statement. That should solve our problem. There it is. But of course, given that if this evaluates to true, return true, and otherwise false, I can get rid of this return true, and I can get rid of this return false, and I can just make this return. Oh, and drop a semicolon at the end, of course. And there it goes. So I hope that video helped. Um, if you have any, any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.